Do you love 20 inch BMX, but want to try out the 29 inch bike life scene? Check out this bike. We're going to do an explain and review on the 29 inch Sunday high C complete BMX bike. So like always, make sure that you subscribe to this video, subscribe to this video, like this video, turn on your notification bells and share this with some friends. If you think our videos would help them buy a new bike or have some more information about bicycles in general. Um, and lately I've been doing my videos a little bit different. Uh, I think you guys like them, so I'm going to continue doing it. Um, so I'm going to run through the bicycle from the front to the back and tell you everything about this bicycle so that you know exactly what you're getting and why this bike is a little bit different than other bikes or is better than other bikes. So let's get to it. I'm going to pop this right off the tripod. So I always start out the front and work my way to the back. We usually stick with the grips first. So these are Sunday cornerstone grips. Uh, they have a rib pattern. They're pretty wide. Um, I have pretty large hands and they definitely have extra room right there. These grips are really good because uh, they just grip really well. They disperse uh, sweat or anything like that. Another cool thing is they got a Sunday push in bar end right here to keep that uh, end of the handlebar from puncturing you if you crash. Um, next up is the Avid lever. Uh, this lever is pretty dope because it's got a pretty cool shape and the angle of it and the pull of it is designed for this brake here, which is a V-brake. There's a lot of brakes out there or bikes out there that have a V-brake, but they have another random lever on there that isn't designed for V-brakes. So this one is designed for V-brakes, so it works really well. You get a lot of stopping power on it because it pulls a lot more cable than the other brake levers. So if you're wondering why this one's different, that is why it pulls more cable than other brake cables used for 990s or caliper brakes or anything like that. Um, going up to the bars, these are a full chromoly handlebar. If you want to know the specs, you could go hit our website right there and it will tell you all the specs about this bike's geometry, everything like that. Um, that's a little bit too intense for our explain and review videos. So I'm going to leave it at that and just kind of tell you everything else. But these are a full chromoly bar along with other parts on it. But that's what kind of sets this bike apart. Um, going to the stem, they got the Sunday Freeze stem. This thing is a lightweight drop forged alloy stem. Uh, when they mean by drop forged, what it is is pretty much a mold that comes in and smashes all the aluminum and makes this stem. The cool thing about that is that it makes it cheaper to purchase stems rather than machining it out and cutting it out because that's time and tool. Um, time, well, time and tools. So the more time it takes and the more tools you need, the more expensive it is. So that lowers the cost on the actual bicycle and that helps out your pockets. So uh, here's a little quick thing. Uh, notice how these bars are a little slight back. This bike is actually going to a young man and uh, he's a little bit uh, shorter than an adult. So we pulled the bars back. He definitely wants to go wheelie and stuff like that. So having the bars back tends to help the kids and the young adults and even adults uh, do wheelies better. So if you want to do them better, just pulling your bars back a little bit like we used to do back in the day, the you know, I mean, late 90s and stuff like that. Uh, that might work for you. Going down to the headset, this is an FSA sealed integrated headset. This has sealed bearings on the top and the bottom. Both the bearings are exactly the same. Uh, and then it's got a large uh, 15 millimeter top cap on here. This thing's aluminum, so it's nice and lightweight. Notice that it doesn't have any headset spacers. Uh, that's pretty cool in my opinion because when they have uh, headset spacers, what happens is that that little headset spacer shakes, moves, and then you end up having to adjust your headset more. Um, what this integrated headset is really cool is that once you set it, you pretty much forget it. It stays tight. No more twisting the little top nut or anything like that. Uh, these two pinch bolts will hold it onto your fork. Um, if you loosen these up, you can tighten this bolt on the top to tighten up your headset or to keep it from shaking. So it makes it just an amazing uh, part to have on your bike compared to 
actually, you know what I mean, adjusting your headset all the time. I hate working on my bike, so having that on your bike is a great plus. Uh, going down to the fork, the fork is a 100% 4130 chromoly fork. This thing has tapered legs. Um, it's got a pretty big dropout. You can run pegs. Uh, you might have to uh, file down the front peg a little bit to get it in there, but you can run them. Notice how the dropout is a lot thicker um, on this, this bike. So if you run pegs or anything like that, it will hold up a little bit more than a traditional uh, dropout. Um, then go to the, the hub. Let's check out this hub. This thing's pretty dope. It's a Sunday aluminum sealed front hub. Um, by sealed, that means that there's precision sealed bearings that um, press into the hub and it causes less maintenance to uh, to take care of. It's got a 3 8 axle with a 17 millimeter head on here. What's cool about that is the rear is the same. So if you put pegs on it, you just need a 17, which is super common in the 20 inch BMX stuff. Uh, so you won't have to be running around trying to find different tools. Uh, going to the tire, this is a Maxxis Grifter tire. I want to say, I can't remember offhand, but um, this is a 2.1 tire. This tire is super popular with the 20 inch freestyle well, park guys, I would say. They they tend to run these quite a bit. We actually had a park rider in here earlier and he was running the same ones on his bike. But park dudes love them because they're lightweight, they're grippy, and uh, they last for quite a bit of time. Uh, the spokes our stainless steel spoke so these things are heavy duty uh they just hold up they don't stretch uh they don't rust or anything like that they're made out of the same stuff as your kitchen forks uh none of that galvanized stuff like your chain link fence or anything like that where the the spokes rust uh this one has brass nipples on here to keep it nice and tight this has a double wall alloy rim uh check this thing out this one's a little bit different than most rims the rim is really wide and the spokes are offset uh, a lot. And what that does is it keeps the rim from bending as easily. Um, all rims will bend, but this uh, style keeps it from, from bending really easy. So that's a great feature on it. Uh, I'm going to hold off on the frame and talk about that later on. So I can explain what the difference of this one is compared to a lot of the other bikes. But let's go up to the seat. Uh, this one has a, a Sunday seat. This thing's pretty padded. Uh, it's got like the mid-size, uh, fat size, actually fat size uh, seat. Uh, this has a leather all the way around. There's no stitching or anything like that. And then it's got a, an embossed uh, Sunday logo on the top. It looks pretty cool. Really sleek and basic. It just, if you love black, uh, parts and stuff like that on your bicycle this is a perfect fit uh going down to the seat post this is an alloy seat post uh it is a 27.2 size seat post so you can run almost any seat post um seat post keeps it nice and light because it's aluminum the seat clamp they give you a quick release seat clamp what's dope about this is that when you're wheeling and doing stuff like that you can slam the seat down and when you're pedaling uphill or going for a long distance or a big stretch you can raise the seat post without any tools even riding the bicycle you could raise the seat up so that you can pedal the bike easier which i think that is pretty cool it allows you to just adjust the seat height on the spot uh going down to the crank set um these got the odyssey pro pedals on here Check those things out. These things are a little bit bigger than the Odyssey Twisted pedals. I'm trying to actually see real quick. Wait, wait, wait. The light's perfect. Okay. So, yeah, these are the Odyssey Pro pedals. They're a lot thicker. Uh, they got a bigger base. They're a little bit heavier duty. Uh, if you want a heavy duty pedal, these are definitely it. We do also sell them on our website if you need one of those. So, uh, I think it's cool that they have a heavy duty pedal right here. And it definitely isn't going to uh, break on you or anything like that. All the pros in 20 inch use these and drop off a of big stuff and the pedals hold up. Going to the crank arms, these are a full chromoly crank arm in the 175 length. Uh, having chromoly cranks are amazing just because they hold up, they're really strong, and they last quite a bit. So 
I think that's a perfect uh, crank setup on here to keep the bike inexpensive but tough if you're an adult and you're riding this bicycle. Going to the sprocket, this one is a 27 tooth saber tooth sprocket. This thing's like probably seven millimeters thick. It's a little bit more than five. Now it looks, looks about seven millimeters thick. It's got tapered teeth on it to make your dry train run a little bit smoother. Uh, going up to the chain, this is a five, actually, let me see. Normally this thing is like a 510 HX chain. Actually, let me see. This is a five, five, 10 hx style chain they might i think they changed the name though um but same same style chain it's got heat treated uh pins it's got a little bit wider plates and the inner plates a little bit thicker notice how it's not a really thin peanut like the other one like this one so this one's this this link right here is thicker this way and this one here is thicker this way and it's got heat treated pins this is one of the chains that i trust on my bike this is one of the only folding chains that I trust on my bike. So if I trust it, uh, I guarantee it will do fantastic for you. So uh, definitely, definitely cool that they have this chain on there because when you're cranking really hard, that chain's gonna hold up and it's not gonna snap on you. Uh, going to the brake system, it's got an alloy V brake system on here. Uh, these things stop really well. Uh, they got a lot of torque on them and will I mean, stop your, your bike in an instant. Um, now, going back here, it's got the same grifter tire on the rear, uh, 2.10. It's got the same rim. It has the same spokes and everything. But going down to the hub, this hub is a 3 8 axle hub. That's a small axle, the big large one that's almost the size of this axle nut right here. Those are the 14. These are 3 8 This thing's fully sealed right here um another thing that i did notice is that this thing has a small free will this one has a 13 tooth free will on here and uh is just a little bit smaller uh but if you look at the bike completely this bike looks a lot like a 20 inch bike just on like i don't know some magic water or something like that it's just got bigger wheels bigger frame everything like that but it's still got the small sprocket it's got a small drivetrain in the back if you come down here and you look at it uh the axle to here and here are pretty pretty similar so if you're running pegs or anything like that this one's gonna have the most clearance yes it's a little bit below the fork if you notice oh man we just got a power out well, let me see if I could turn on the light. Ian! Did, you, did it spark on you? All right, so that's it. That's pretty crazy. I think, I don't think that was a breaker. I think that's in our whole, sh whole shop uh, area that maybe everybody's power is out. We're pretty much to the end though. We're going to wrap it up. I think this makes kind of a cool video. But if you're looking for a BMX style bicycle, this is it. Mainly because it's got the small drivetrain. Um, it's got a BMX style um, everything. Uh, it just kind of kind of says BMX in general. The frame is also a 4130 chromoly frame. This one's dope because it's got a gusset on the bottom. So if you're jumping it and stuff like that, it will definitely hold up. Check out the brake cable here this is routed um pretty smooth they put a little cable guide underneath there and uh to run the brakes and everything like that what's cool about this is that a lot of the 29ers do not have a water bottle um cage uh, mount on it this one does so you can put a speaker on there you can put a water bottle cage anything like that uh that's pretty pretty sick um let's see what else oh it's got a Three eighths dropout. The dropout's pretty thick. Uh, like I said, if you want to run pegs, you can run pegs on there. And uh, yeah, well that's it. Let me try to do this selfie video real quick. I'm not too good at this these things. Let me make sure it's recording. So yeah, that's it for the Sunday high C complete bike. This thing's been here. Uh, well, we did the video for quite a bit, so I just didn't want to end it. So let you guys know that this is real life. I'll give you guys the information no matter what. 
check out this bike on our website, stackbmx.com. Uh, it has more info on there if you want to go check out the specs, the exact parts and everything. But uh, thank you very much for supporting us. We'll see you next time. Peace out.